Yo, what's up everyone? Semper HD. I'm off for 10 days now, so I'm just chilling. Here we got a Cristiano Ronaldo review, possibly the first one on the on the YouTube. And um, he's sick. 15 games, 16 goals, all online. So we're going to get some good footage in here. We're going to have a good discussion about him and see... Uh, Hopefully it'll help you decide on whether you want to buy him or whether you, you know, whether he's good or not. I will give you a good description of how good he is. And um, he is very, very sick. And um, the three reviews I've done in a row, fine. Uh, granted, I've said they're all amazing, but I've chosen them because they are amazing. And uh, in time, once Team of the Weeks are out, then obviously I can judge it. But here's my... First, kind of, I put this up because, you know, it's kind of like how Ronaldo takes his free kick. Wasn't a goal, but there is nevertheless a few free kicks on this, and one of them is a goal, so you can enjoy it. That was a goal with Ronaldo's weak foot outside the box, as you can see. His weak foot is devastating as well. Here is Ronaldo more or less as in a playmaking role. Look at that lovely little through ball there for Isco, who I think ended up scoring. I'm not too sure. There's another um, through ball from Ronaldo for Walcott to score. And here's Ronaldo with his aerial threat. Look at that. His reaction time there was brilliant. After hitting onto the crossbar, he beat David Luiz and the keeper to the rebound. Here's a um, nice little... I think it's called flip flap. Right between two defenders. You can see his st great strength and determination to get between those defenders. But with his weak foot cross under pressure, you know, the cross wasn't the best. But nevertheless, um, just wanted... There's going to be some random bits like that part earlier was like a bit of skill. I don't... That was a skill pass really. But yeah, anyway, so don't be, like, discouraged as to why I'm putting a bit of skill now and then. And his long shots are amazing. It's just I haven't had any really good long shots, to be honest with you. So I'm showing it to you from different uh, points because I can just, like, there, there's a Ronaldo's free kick that kind of went wrong, but you can see it kind of went for it. Uh, more like a pass of a free kick. It just turned out to be perfectly fine. Just I didn't really put it away with David Luiz, basically. But um, I want to do my reviews a lot different now, you know? Like, I don't want it to just be goals. Like, Itani's an amazing reviewer, right? But most of us are just goals. You don't see many playmaking and stuff like that, right? And um, I want to show you from a bit of his, like, his dribbling, and then he'll play it through for a nice, lovely pass. Or a header, which is a through ball of a header. Some nice skill. Just bits and pieces to show it to you. You know how he is on the ball and off the ball and making the runs and stuff. But honestly, the only cons I can think of, that was a through ball, by the way, which Isco had skyrocketed. Um, the only thing I can think of is his finesse shot isn't the best at times, but I don't think that's him, right? I think that once again I should mention that that's me, but sometimes it does feel like, mm, you know, same with his long shots. But I'm not saying his long shots are crap, I'm saying sometimes like the average of his long shots are not like, like insane. Like you have to really get time it well. You really do have to time it well. But you can see his aerial threat is, he just buries everything away with his head, that's for sure. And he's smooth on the rainbow flick, because like, on FIFA 13 we had a bit of problems with the rainbow flick and stuff, you know, it wasn't really smooth enough, and, um, you know, but nevertheless, um, he's just, oh, his shot's just like a bullet, it's rapid, and um, his, his typical Ronaldo chops are absolutely brilliant, like, if you can time it well, it's fine. Nice little sombrero there, and I really thought that went in, I was really, I was just like, what, KSI top 5? Then it, and I saw it just go over the crossfire, I was a bit disappointed, but anyway. Um, nevertheless, if you want to invest in Ronaldo, buy Ronaldo. Um, by the way, that was a cross by Ronaldo, his was in the header. Nice little run for the cross, and here's Ronaldo in the 105th minute, pretty much the winning goal. He's got a lot of the winning goals for me, to be honest with you. My record was really good, it was 18 for 4 or something, 18 for 5, and then I did the Ronaldo review, it went for like 11 losses for 27 wins or something like that, I'm not sure. Here's the Ronaldo free kick, by the way, I love his free kicks on this. But yeah, so like I was saying, I was doing the review, and I just mucked up a lot because, I, you know, when you're giving it to Ronaldo, I just, my record kind of went to shit, but I'm still positive, so I'm like 27 for 10 or something. So uh, what, what videos we have next after this is an Aguero team of, uh, team of the week, and then showing off, showing my club. I didn't mean to say that, showing off, showing my club. And uh, from there, we'll, we'll, I'll take it from there and see what else we can do. Maybe a first pink slips or something. So if you want, you can follow me on Twitter to get ready for pink slips and follow me on Twitter for other videos, you know, knowing when the next videos are out and stuff like that. So, so you know, and you can like my Facebook page. You can add me on BBM, your choice. Uh, that'll be in the description. And uh, I'm hope you, I hope you guys have been enjoying my videos. I hope you guys like the idea of my reviews being like that where I make it, you know, a bit of passing, goals, um, you know, defending, tracking back. It's, it just helps you all around to make a decision, you know. 
So yeah, so those are the only cons I can think of. Sometimes the only major con I would have to say is that when you're giving a through ball, like people like Lukaku and others that have that good tactical ability and stuff and good positioning and making that run on through a through ball, Ronaldo's isn't always the best. Sometimes he's moving away from it. Sometimes he's just running it's complete. I don't know, like he's, he's too slow on the run, you know, but whereas Neymar is too quick and that's why he's offside all the time. But that's not a problem with Neymar. He really makes up for it. But anyway, we've coming. We've come to the end of the video pretty much. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope this makes helps you decide. I would say yes, buy him, especially if you can get him for 1.4, 1.5. I think he'll go up. I'm not too sure. Don't take my word on it. So go ahead and subscribe and like. And if you're new, check out my channel for my 200,000 uh, Microsoft Point pack opening. And part two will be up tomorrow, I think. So you can take a look and pause the uh, video for the in-game stats and the pros and cons. That's pretty much it. You guys know. Um, he's honestly heading I think is the best. So anyway, you can uh, subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to go now. Peace.